Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. And it's all coming out in a lawsuit. Meek Mill was named in Diddy's latest lawsuit, and it is not looking good. Someone give Diddy a break because things are really getting out of hand. Remember the recent lawsuit against Diddy filed by Lil Rodney Jones? Well, Jones took a hit at Diddy in every way imaginable. Not only did Diddy try to influence the music producer, but according to Jones, Diddy had also gotten in bed with some pretty big names, including Meek Mill and Usher. To add to the drama, Nicki Minaj just stepped inside the picture. And like always, Nicki did not disappoint. She's cleared up a bunch of queries regarding the entire Meek Mill and Diddy situation, and it might just have sealed the rapper's career. Just what happened? What did Nicki Minaj say? Is there really something between Meek Mill and Diddy? Welcome back to Celebrity Circle, where we will talk about how Nicki Minaj leaked audio exposing Meek Mill and Diddy. But before we give you guys the deets, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. I want to take a moment of silence for all Meek Mill fans. Now in case y'all didn't know about what's been cooking in the industry, music producer Lil Rodney Jones just came out with a lawsuit against Diddy. The 73-page lawsuit has once again landed Diddy in hot water as Jones exposed the record executive for some wild things. The lawsuit hinted towards two big artists with whom Diddy might have had a thing or two, and to our surprise, it's none other than Usher and Meek Mill. Jones didn't directly take any names in the lawsuit, but he did drop some hints. And, what do you know? Detectives on the internet knew who Jones was talking about instantly. He engaged in intercourse with a rapper. And that rapper whose name was redacted is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. That said, rumors about the Meek and Diddy situation are not exactly new. You see, before the lawsuit even came out, there were allegations going around about Diddy and Meek going at it. Back in the day, a video made rounds on the internet where Diddy was seen calling Meek Daddy while also hyping him up. The video broke the internet and fans had their questions because the two didn't look like friends. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. What's more? A photo of the two also had the internet going crazy. The picture in question showed Diddy and Meek wearing matching outfits. Between Diddy calling Meek Daddy and the two doing cliche couple things, it's really hard to believe that they two were only friends. However, for those of you who aren't aware, Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj were a thing back in the day. Unfortunately, the two didn't last long and parted ways eventually, and to our surprise, Nicki and Meek weren't exactly lovey-dovey. Instead, the two had a pretty nasty relationship, which ended up leaving Meek in hot waters. Not to mention, there were major allegations going around about Meek back in the day, and it looks like we have a witness for that as well. One of Meek's friends, Dean Reddy, spilled the beans about Nikki and Meek's relationship recently. During an Instagram Live, Dean revealed how he once saw Meek and Nikki going at it, but it wasn't a good day. This fucking dude get the argument with this girl in his mall, in his fucking store. Meek's ex-friend also revealed that Meek spat on Nicki Minaj during one of their heated arguments. Yes, you heard that right. Hope Nicki taught him a lesson because that is just straight up disrespectful. They arguing real bad. They get to calling each other all kinds of crazy names. This corny dude starts spitting on. I say, yo, you crazy. And that's not all. Dean also revealed how Nicki was locked out of her own house. Apparently, Meek kicked Nikki out of the house, and she had to spend the night in the woods all alone. To make matters worse, Meek's sister and mother were there while the entire thing went down. Nikki has never addressed the situation, but she tried giving fans hints about how Meek isn't what he really puts himself out to be. Back in the day, the two got into a pretty heated argument over Twitter. Nikki was the one who threw the first punch. She exposed Meek for putting hands on his own sister, writing, You beat your own sister and taped it spit on her face and taped it, kicked me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking Drake made you feel tough again. Move on. Now, of course, Meek wasn't going to let the disrespect slide. He denied the allegations and also accused Nikki of trying to sabotage his career. He wrote, The only way you can try to kill my career is to say I beat women. Talk about your brother convicted of R and you been new and paid for his lawyer. Yeah, little brother touched that girl too. You know I know, you want me to crash with your boyfriend, and I won't. 
Now the argument did go back and forth for a while now and fans were able to see firsthand how Nikki wasn't merely arguing. She was also dropping hints about Diddy's sexuality and was indirectly taking shots at Diddy and Meek. With all that, fans think that Nikki might have had major dirt on all these big names but chose to stay silent back then. Mind you, Diddy was on the top of his game back then. Had Nikki stepped out of line, he could have easily taken her out of the race. But wait, there's more. Back in 2019, Nicki Minaj was talking smack about big names in the industry with Sulu Boy. Do you think it's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? <laughs> uh, oh no, Queen! She went on to talk about how people are out there doing some pretty shady stuff behind closed doors, and it honestly looked like Sulja wanted to change the topic as fast as possible because he knew Nikki was swimming in some dangerous waters and he wanted no part of it. You don't know about that. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I do. Anyways, back to the lawsuit drama, it looks like fans are now connecting the dots and concluding that Nikki might have known about the entire Meek and Diddy situation all along. To add to the drama, an audio clip is now making rounds on the internet where it seems like Diddy and Neek are doing the deed. Just a little warning, the clip we're about to play is going to make you really uncomfortable. We suggest you put your headphones on. Honestly, it's hard to say otherwise after listening to the audio. What's more, some fans are pointing fingers at Nikki and are saying that she might have been the one who leaked the audio. Looks like she got tired of keeping everything as a secret. Honestly, if she really did leak the audio, cheers to her because she picked the perfect time. Right now, Diddy is in no position to go after her. That said, some fans still have their doubts. They're questioning if the two people in the audio are actually Diddy and Meek. Some are saying that the audio is fake and the two people in it are not who we all think is. And that's it for today. What do you think of the entire situation? Did Meek and Diddy actually go at it? Did Nikki actually leak that audio? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.